old JD here, Till Olympus, and as you can see, we're at Canada, season 9 of AOR here today, and this isn't my actual qualifying lap because, as some of you should know or may know, that I had a quali ban because of that cut in Monaco that you saw in that clip, and so therefore I'll be starting last, and this is just a lap I did in practice. Uh, I thought it was a, a clean, reasonable lap, I know <laughs> someone might disagree a bit, but I thought it was clean, but um. Yeah, going into this race, I just made sure I was just making sure I knew the strategy inside out, because that's what cost me in Spain. Um, just not knowing the strategy, not putting enough practice. So literally, all I've done for this race is just put in race pace practice and just knowing exactly when to pit, pretty much. And if I can just drive consistent and nail the apexes and keep it clean, which is what I've been really been trying to work on quite quite a lot around here in practice, just trying to keep it clean but whilst just pushing the actual limits of it as well so trying to be fast and clean I put in a lot of time to try and do it as you can see a chicane there that's what I'm talking about really that's what I've been doing or that's what I'm, I am going to try to replicate in the race as well and we managed to do a 13 which I thought was acceptable so but moving on to the actual race itself as you can see by qualifying result, Ellis, Tiro Ellis, has got a pole position of a 13-1. So well done to him. And Brozyak is my, my main, the main rival. Sorry, he's in fourth place. So 12 people here today because a couple of people on holiday and someone didn't show up. But um, looking forward to this race. It's not never really been a, a strong track of mine. I got disqualified <laughs> last time I raced around here. So... Got to try and keep it on the stuff, on the black stuff. Keep it within the white lines and see what we can do. And just going to go in with confidence. But right now, I'm not really. Well, yeah, I'm confident, but not as confident as I has been. I have been in the past because this track doesn't really seem to suit me that well. And as you can see, we're underway now, and we're just keeping it cautious. We're not gonna try and do a ridiculous move. We went on the grass a bit there, and. We haven't actually we haven't made up any positions, so we are still in last place, twelfth place at the moment, and just gotta keep it under control. As you can see, we've got thirty five laps of the race, so there's no need to throw it away by doing something stupid and as you'll see by my strategy as well, I need to keep my tires in check and we're just skipping towards the end or towards the end of that one, making a little bit of a dive bomb there. Managed to get Leobot and come off with Sasha can get boxed in between the two Mercedes. But luckily I managed to go around the outside of I Reversal, I believe. And he's keeping it on the inside. He's gone for track a bit there, but he managed to keep it, just keep it on the inside of him. So, made up two positions. I think Jambo had a lag spike as well on that turn four or something as well. But, um, yeah, now we're behind lockdown. And you can see, as you can see, the, the front train's starting to ease away a bit. So, we really got to try and get past him as quick as, he, quick as we can. Got on the curb a bit too much there. Lost a bit of time. And under pressure from behind, just got to try and keep it together really and just focus on a long run as I always tend to do I try and think of things towards the end of the race and done a nice couple of corners there I managed to get a good run on the uh, lockdown and we actually go go around the outside of him DRS isn't enabled yet from lap 3 onwards and he's, he's kept it on the inside to be fair but we'll just go hold it around the outside of him and hopefully with my setup I think I'm, I'm running 2-1 wing this time in the setup video I ran 3-1 but I feel and since I'm going to be overtaking start from last I need that bit of bit more of a straight line speed and we managed to hold it in front of him he's not going to challenge us down the inside managed to get through that through that chicane okay, nice and tidy and we are in eighth place in lap two so pretty good and Ellis is still in the lead as well so he's doing a pretty solid job and Minty sets the fastest lap so we just got to press on now and we're moving on to lap five now we managed to catch the train of the lead train we put in some quite consistent times and I love this corner this is my favourite corner to actually overtake because you get a slingshot effect if you get an exception if you get a really good exit and up the inside car to Kane make sure not to cut or anything and we've kept it on the track and that's another move done so moving on to lap 6 now we are right behind my uh, fellow Tiro Tiro Ellis looks like he's made a mistake because he was actually in the lead a couple of laps ago but um, he's carried a lot of speed through there so we're not going to get anywhere near him here but we're going to try and get a um, good exit off this corner because I feel this is probably the best overtaking spot if you can nail the exit of this, this little slingshot thing I like to call it but no not this time we're not going to get past them here and we're skipping towards lap 7 now and coming towards the slingshot corner again and he's gone a bit deep so we're going to try and go around the outside of him 
keep it in a lean mix to get the maximum traction. And we're going around the outside of him, keep putting it into Rich so we get a bit more speed and straight. And as you can see by Mirror, he's almost right behind us. So we'll just go turn in and we've actually been pushed, I can tell you now, on my screen. I'm not really too happy about that because I thought I had the move done. He was right behind me. Didn't expect him to hold it around there. So <laughs> a little bit frustrated that as we can see, as you can see, we've just uh, dive bombed it <laughs> a little bit. So you can tell we're a little bit aggressive there. But um, moving towards that eight now, just keeping our head together because as you can see, the front train is not exactly that far away. So we have managed to get these corners pretty nicely at the moment. As Ellis makes a big mistake, and we just ran into the back of him. So. Could have gone to the right or left, but we've just driven straight into him and put it down the inside. Nice clean move. And we should get DRS as well because we're behind him. So that is into sixth place at the moment on lap eight. And we still got a long way to go in this race. And you'll be able to see by my strategy as well. This is working out pretty well for me at the moment, to be honest. And keep it nice and clean for Chicane. And that is the move confirmed, completely done. So next target is Jack575 who's another very very quick driver and we're 1.9 seconds behind him so we just got to push on now and uh, see what we can do and moving towards the end of lap 9 now we our pace is really really good this race at the moment and got the DRS on Jack and let's see what happens here he goes into the pit so that is really really early like for my strategy which you'll be able to see soon that I was really, really surprised. And I can tell you, a few other people have actually pitted as well. A couple other people. So, it's Minty who's in the lead. And look at the lead he's got. He's got a pretty big lead at the moment. And, as you can see, we've got Maisie in front of me now. And the next car ahead of him is Brosiak. So, my main rival for the championship is only a couple a couple of positions ahead of me now. And Minty's pitted, I can tell you that. And we've actually lost DRS as well. So... We just got to try and get the best possible exit out of here. And maybe if my teammate was, <laughs> it might be a little bit nice. <laughs> Who knows? But looks like he's actually just made a mistake. So if we can get a good run out of here, which we do with that low, with that lean mix for the traction and the wing settings I'm using as well, it should be a relatively easy pass. And we're pulling alongside him here. And going to Sasha Kane, we just got to spot this breaking point. It's so easy to cut and extend. Or this corner and we've managed to keep it within the white line so another clean move done and right now we're just driving really consistent uh, clean which is the number one priority I'm trying to do this race and fast as well so the race pace practice is definitely paying off at the moment and as you can see next target is Brosiak and we're 2.1 seconds behind him on lap 15 so these options are going a long long way and people pit on like lap 8 and lap 9 so they're definitely going to be doing a a two-stop strategy at least and we'll see what will happen here we're, 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 we've been closing on Brozak maybe a couple of attempts, a few attempts a lap and he dives into the pits now so taking a chicane cleaning again and as you can see my tyres are starting to go off now as I look at the tyre gauge there I can tell you in practice I went to the end of lap 17 that was the pretty much the cliff, the drop off point for these tyres and to make a one stop possible you need to go to lap 17 because Anything before that, my tyres were dead at the end when I did the one stop on that strategy. So when I saw him pit there, I pretty I was really confident I could beat him in the race, to be honest. Because if he was doing a one stop as well, his tyres would be absolutely knackered at the end. And as you can see off the exit of that hairpin, my tyres were in pretty bad condition as well. So we're going to go on the prime tyre and that's our only stop for the race. We're going to do a one stop and I presume Brozak's going to do a one stop as well. But the thing is, we've got two lap fresher tyres in him. So, it's going to be very, very close to the end of the race. I did, my in-laps weren't particularly amazing because I lost a lot of time because my tyres were absolutely dead at the end of this. As you could see by my tyres when they came in there. So, we're going to the prime tyre now and it's essential that we get past people as quick as possible because that's the only way it's going to work. I come out of this pit lane here, look how close this is. This is I think it's Leobot. He's behind me there, and that is crucial for the race. If we went out behind him there, that could have completely just destroyed our race, and that's that could that could be a, a, a race-winning moment, to be honest. Because that if if I stay behind him, we could have been another couple of laps behind him, and that could have been a couple of seconds to the leaders as well. And thankfully, we managed to get past them as. We're now on the back of Kartikeya now, who's um believe he's on a two-stop strategy, so 
just taking our time. We're not going to do anything, make make a rash decision or do anything aggressive. We've still got a long way to go in this race. As he's pitted now, so we are now behind Jason. He's another very, very good driver who used to race in Tiro as well in his Red Bull. And we've got a, quite a few lap um, fresher tyres than him. So we've been catching him quite quickly as Minty behind has now pitted. And he's on a two-stop, so he's got fresher tyres than me. So he should be uh, pretty good to the end of the race. As we, um, we're we closing on Jason here, we're driving really well, really well at the moment. As we've got to get a really good exit off this final corner, we should have DRS because we're in the second. So we've still got fuel, and as you can see, my tyres are in relatively good condition at the moment. But towards the end of the race, my tyres, you'll be able to see, I do struggle quite a bit. So let's see what happens here. And Jason pits. So obviously, he, don't, he doesn't, <laughs> he feels he can't get to the end of the race. And that means next car on the track is Brosiak. And he's got a 4.3 second lead at the moment, which you may think is a a big lead, which it is. But with the tyres and the, the advantage you get of the fresher tyres, which I know, which I knew in practice, I was still feeling pretty confident. So we've just gained half a second on one lap at the moment, and we're going on to the next lap here, as you can see. And the gap is leveling out at the moment, but I expect his tyres to really go off towards the end of the race as we go skip towards that 30 now. And let's see what the gap is. Taking the chicane nice and clean. I'm pretty happy with myself this race in terms of track limits. It's pretty much been on the white line for most of it. Just pushing the limits but still staying within the rules. And we're closing in. And we're 2.2 seconds by now with four laps to go. It's looking pretty good. And look at this. His tyres, I think, have completely just gone now. As you'll be able to see by my tyres at the end. And look at it here. I'm, I'm starting to drift a little bit now as well so if he if i'm drifting and his tires are going to be um in not really good condition to be honest and we haven't got drs that's the second time this race that our drs is actually broken so probably the worst moment <laughs> for our drs to fail as we taking the chicane clean again but we can't get on the drs so we just gotta hope that he makes a mistake or we get a really good exit off that sing shot corner or or the hairpin um, a last straight as well. So we're within a second now as well. And as you can see, look at that. My tyres are definitely, definitely starting to go now. So we just got to just keep this together and, and just pressure him really. Just pressure him as much as possible. And you can see the, definitely the tyres. I'm starting to drift around corners now at the moment. We've just got to um, put him under pressure. And as you can see, we're, we're catching him. We've got more traction in him. And we've saved quite a bit of fuel with races as well. So... We haven't been optimal that long, so we can afford to go and rich mix. As you'll be able to see by this corner now, absolutely just nailing those corners. And here's a slow motion. If you want to get your magnifying glasses out, that is it within the white line, touching the white line. So you can do that on a lot of corners. I've done this race if you want. You can pause it, slow it down if you want. I've watched it. I'm within the white line or touching the white line. So we've managed to get right on the back of him because of that. And he's definitely struggling with traction. And we've got a really, really good run of him. We haven't got DRS, but since the straight is quite long, we could maybe potentially have a go. So we're going to do a little bit of a dummy. He's going to stick to the inside. We're just going to take our time for his chicane because we could get a good run. And he's, wow, he's gone into the wall. So through that pressure, he seemed to have cracked a little bit under pressure there. So, But I know that feeling. I did it myself at Monaco, so... Uh, unlucky to him, like genuinely unlucky to him, but great news for me. <laughs> it's pretty much the, one of the best races I've had this season so far, and championship rivals now behind me. He's actually got damage as well, and Minty, who's in third place on the fresher tyres, so he could potentially still uh, get Brozak, but it's still not over yet. He, he, Brozak could have DRS, and as you can see, look at my tyres. They're definitely, definitely losing a lot of grip here, and we just, just got to keep it together because he's still got one lap to go can easily put it in the wall or do something so you just got to keep it within the limits just while still trying to push it as well and through his damage I don't think he's going to get it within our DRS so we'll see what the gap is now and we'll be able to see it's 1.3 seconds so he's out of DRS zone and Minty is actually closer to him than he is to us so this is looking really really good at the moment I never expected the to have this kind of result but I feel it's just mainly my strategy just knowing that strategy and just being consistent and doing what I had to do at times it's that's what won me the race really I've, I've said that before knowing the strategy sometimes can actually just help you win the race more than just having the pace and 
here's a really good example of that really here to be honest and as you can see now Minty is actually overtaking him so Brozak is tires have completely completely gone off the cliff and that's what happened to me in practice when I picked on that lap so I knew I had to push it to lap 17 and coming over the line now we have managed to win the race so starting last having a quality ban managed to just stick to what I knew on the strategy managed to execute it quite well and managed to take the win so really really happy of that hopefully you've enjoyed the commentary hopefully I was clean you can be able, you can look at my corners if you want if you want to examine <laughs> with your magnifying glasses and everything I felt I was within the limits touching the white line and I was pretty happy with myself as race so if you liked the video give it a thumbs up um, next race is Austria I believe so a really good track for me um, and then Silverstone after that so as always cheers for watching and see you next video Bitches lost all sight